In this video, we will discuss the derivation of the Richardson Dusman equation. And uh, in 1902, Richardson first took the important steps to explain the nature of the dependence of emission current on the temperature. Temperature. And uh, he and later Dusman derived independently the relationship between this emission current and temperature of the emitter. So in order to derive the equation, this equation, uh, we will make the use of Fermi-Dirac statistics. And we apply this Fermi Dirac statistics to the electron gas in metal. Okay, and now we will consider here this is a metal block, and here we will consider which is uh, placed at temperature, say for example, T degree Kelvin. And uh, this emitter surface is parallel to this y and z, uh, and y z plane. Okay. So now we will calculate the emission current density for this case. And here we will consider that the energy of the electron is E. Uh, energy of the electron in this metal okay and another we will consider that the component px py pz these are the momentum component of the electron along the x axis y axis and z axis whereas vx vy and vz these are the component of the velocity along the x axis y axis and z axis now what we will do that we will write the expression for the number density of the electrons which occupy the quantum states in the momentum interval like px and px plus dpx like this so i will write here first uh, the number density of electrons occupying quantum states in momentum interval intervals px the px plus dpx and uh, between PY, PY plus DPY, similarly between PZ and PZ plus DPZ. And this number we write in term of the Fermi Dirac distribution function that we write in term of TN is equal to 2 by H cube. This is Fermi Dirac distribution function dpx dpy dpz. So, this is representing the number density. Okay, now we will write the expression for the current densities because the electron they will be this is the emitting surface is parallel to yz plane. So, the emission current density is in the direction parallel to the x-axis you can say or normal to the yz plane so we write the expression for uh, current density uh, in the direction say x direction okay normal to the yz plane and expression for that we can write this is j dj x 
or you can say the differential current density E Vx into dn and we will substitute the value of dn from above expression that is the number density and it comes out to be E Vx 2 by h q f of e into dpx dpy dpz and we can also write this velocity component in term of momentum that is px is equal to uh, m naught into vx so this vx is equal to px by m naught so above expression this differential current density comes out to be equal to 2 m naught e v no uh, now i am writing not v it it comes out to be equal to uh, 2 e by uh, m naught h q uh, f of e px dpx dpy dpz now we will this is we have to find out the total current density total emission current density current density so in order to calculate total emission density we have to integrate this uh, we have to take the integration along x axis y axis and z axis so we will take the limits for this momentum along the x component for the x component the limits varies from px prime to infinity and for y component limits varies from minus infinity to plus infinity and similarly for the z along the z direction so we will write the now the expression for the total emission current density which is jx is equal to and i will take here because now we will take the integration triple integral you can say that is px dash to infinity for the minus infinity to and third one along the z direction from minus infinity to plus infinity f of e px dpx dpy dpz so now and we know this is fermi dirac distribution function and we know the value of this fermi dirac distribution function which we define this 1 plus exponential e minus ef by kt where k is boltzmann constant t is temperature and ef is the fermi energy so on substituting here we will get this expression 2 e by m naught h square this these three integ integrations p prime minus infinity minus infinity plus infinity like this 1 by 1 plus exponential e minus ef by kt into px dpx dp y dpz like this so now here we will make uh, a junction that now as the thermal apply thermal energy supplied to uh, the electron must be must be greater than this fermi energy level so the we can say that uh, supplied thermal energy to the electrons is much 
greater than than this EF Fermi level energy. So we can write this E minus EF is greater than KT. So this Fermi Dirac function for this I can write this one by exponential f of e which we have written e minus e f by kt so this whole term we can add which is approximately equal to exponential e minus e f by kt so under this assumption we replace this term with only this quantity okay so on using this here uh, so this equation say 1 now comes out uh, reduces to jx is equal to 2e m naught h q minus infinity to plus infinity oh, px prime to here minus infinity to plus infinity minus in and here I will write this is equal to exponential E F minus E by K T into P X D P X D P Y D P Z. Okay. And we can separate the terms here. I will keep this Fermi level term in the exponential outside the integral. So this I write 2e by m naught h q exponential e f by k t. These be three integrals from p x prime to infinity write this from minus infinity to plus infinity can write here e exponential minus e by kt ok similarly to dpx dpy and dpz so now I will replace this energy term here I will write in term of the momentums component of momentum so you can write e is equal to you know p square by 2m naught so I will write here p x square plus p y square plus p z square by 2m. So in this expression 2, I replace this e with this quantity in term of now I will write energy in term of the momentum component. So this g x comes out to be 2 e by m naught h square h q exponential e f by k t so i will now write all components in the separate manner say from minus in, uh, no p x prime to infinity I write here exponential if I replace here, this comes out to be minus px square by 2m here m naught m naught kt into px into dpx and second integral of related to y component it comes out to exponential minus py square by to m naught kt into dpy and third integral is minus infinity to plus infinity exponential minus pz square by 2 m naught kt into dpz 
so here now we have the integral one is this second is this and third is this so this is first integral this is second and this is third so in order to solve these integral we make the use of standard integral so using standard integral for solving second and solving second and third okay so we know that integral is standard integral is this exponential minus alpha x square if we have this type of integral value is comes out to be pi by and root pi by alpha so here in this integral number 2 so our second integral is uh, minus infinity to plus infinity exponential minus p y square by 2 m naught k t into b p y so in this case this term is here alpha so value of this integral comes out to be under root pi and this is alpha not alpha but this is 1 by alpha here so this value this comes out to be equal to 2 m naught k t and root this so this is value of second second similarly for the third integral minus infinity to plus infinity exponential pz by 2 m naught k t dpz so this is again 2 pi pi m naught k t so in this manner we can calculate these three integral and in order to solve this first integral we'll now also solve this first integral so this first integral is Mm. from minus not px prime to infinity exponential minus px square to 2m naught kt into px dpx so here uh, what we will do that we will write like this dp i will write this as p x square by 2m naught kt in this quantity i have taken this uh, p x square by 2m kt okay uh, so in order to solve it this is simple integral I will write here instead of px prime I will write here px uh, prime square by 2m naught kt to infinity integrations and this is equal to exponential minus px square by 2m naught kt into d of minus px square by 2m naught kt okay what here we got one more term is related to this m with minus sign okay m naught k t okay for now so in this manner we replace this we got this type of expression minus sign and value of this integral if we simplify this finally we got this 
एम नॉट के टी एक्सपोनेंशियल माइनस पी एक्स प्राइम स्क्वेयर बाई टू एम नॉट के टी दिस इज द थर्ड नो दिस इज फर्स्ट इंटीग्रल वैल्यू ऑफ फर्स्ट इंटीग्रल सो नाउ वी गॉट द वैल्यूज ऑफ ऑल दीज थ्री इंटीग्रल्स सो नाउ आई विल सब्स्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ जे एक्स ओके वैल्यू ऑफ जे एक्स इज टू ई बाई एम नॉट एच क्यू एक्सपोनशियल ई एफ बाई के टी एंड वैल्यू ऑफ दीज टू इंटीग्रल इज टू पाई टू पाई थ्री दिस इज येट है टू पाई एम नॉट के टी वाई आई हैव रिटर्न इट सेपरेटली बिकॉज इन थर्ड इंटीग्रल वी ऑल्सो गॉट दिस टर्म ओके तो आई विल राइट हेयर ट्वाइस एंड थर्ड टर्म इज एक्सपोनशियल वैल्यू ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट इंटीग्रल पी एक्स प्राइम स्क्वेयर बाई टू एम नॉट के टी सो इन दिस मैनर वी कैलकुलेट सो the value of this total emission current density now the minimum the minimum energy required to no required by an electron to leave the metal with the metal surface is we define it with ep okay and we define this ep is equal to uh px prime square by 2m not okay so in this above equation so this is i think equation number is 3 so in 3 we replace this px square by 2m term i will replace this term with this ep okay and we can rewrite this exponential term simult in a single term as a single term i write i will write these two term as a single term so what will be the final expression Gx is equal to four pi uh, e m naught k square by h q t square plus m m this is square and m naught is also in denominator so it will get cancelled t square exponential i will write this is equal to if i take minus common here e p minus e f by k t okay so this is and if i and this term because this ep is the minimum energy required by the electron to leave the metal surface so i can write that this ep minus ef is equal to the work function it is representing work function of the metal okay work function of the metal so and here all these terms 4 pi e charge this is, uh, represent the mass of electron k is holding constant h is constant 
so the, all these are terms are constant so we can replace consider a uh, all these terms equal to constant a that a is equal to 4 pi b m naught k square by h cube and this so above equation I can write which is equal to j x is equal to a t square exponential and I will replace this e p minus b in term of work function phi e by k t okay and we can also uh, write uh, consider another constant that uh, I can write here in term of this equation in another constant so this is our final equation now so I will use another constant p is equal to uh, that is phi e y k so this equation reduces to j x is equal to a t square exponential minus b y t so here this a and b we will call these constants Richardson constants ok constants and we will call this equation is Richardson this man equation or Richardson equation so this relates emission current density with the the temperature of the emitter so this is about the derivation of the emission Richardson inducement equation